Uh, Quincy Anunwa, who was on the IL mm -hmm. or the IR uh, with a neck injury, was fined twenty-seven thousand nine hundred dollars by the team for missing two days of treatment, and then he went on a Twitter rant. He said he took his wife, a veteran, out to lunch on Veterans Day, also had a house emergency. He acknowledges he should have told the team beforehand, but the believes the penalty is excessive. He says this could have been handled in so many different ways. He also revealed that he has about a 50-50 chance of playing again. He's got some nerve, okay? And I'm going to tell you why. First of all, he invokes veterans. So his wife was a veteran. God bless her. Thank her for her service. He had to take her to lunch that day rather than go get treatment. He could have taken her to, to dinner. He could have thanked her, could have had a candlelit dinner. I'm not going to tell him what to do, but whatever he wants to do, that's a poor excuse for missing treatment that you have to have and not telling the team. I think if he called the Jets up and said, I'm going to come in a little bit later, he wants his cake and eat it too. I'm sorry. I'm not a Jet shill. We've done nothing the last two weeks except kill the Jets, and they've done stupid stuff with Kelechi Osemele. That That's heavy-handed, looks awful. Luke Falk also came out, and he has a, a, a grievance against them. But this one? I mean, Quincy Anunwa really thinks that, that he's been wronged? Uh, it's a terrible uh, thing if he has a 50-50 chance of ever playing again. But y you want to hear what no less an authority than Damian Woody said? He tweeted this out. He said, about Quincy Anunwa, from what I gather, he missed a couple of treatments, let the team know why after the fact, and he got fined. Again, what am I missing here? Exactly. What are we missing uh, here? Uh, Michael, you're 100% right on this. And, and the other thing that's really irritating about it is oh, his wife's a veteran. What does that have to do with anything? Yeah. All right? I mean, it was Veterans Day. He wanted to he, take he's our... got a 50-50 chance of playing again. So, so he's trying to go sympathy, and then he's taking it to Twitter. So why do all these players think it's okay? Just take your grievances to Twitter. If you have a problem with the Jets, t take it up with the Jets. If you got a problem with the fine, take it up with your Players Association. What are you taking it to Twitter for? You know what these players are doing? And it's so weak. They know the Jets are the punching bag. Right. They know they're going to get support from the fans. Because right now the fans are hating on their own team. So when Jamal Adams does something, when um, Anunwa does something, they go to Twitter and they know they're going to get the positive feedback. Not here. Because it's so easy to support the player Not today. than the team. Not today. fact is, you're supposed to get treatment. If you don't show up someplace, I don't care if it's a job, if it's a doctor's appointment. Hey, if, you have, if I have a doctor's appointment and I decide to take Nancy and the kids out to dinner and not go to the doctor's appointment, I might have to still pay for the appointment. I mean, you see a lot of doctors do that. If, you, if you don't cancel within 24 hours, you're still going to get banged for the fee. Sometimes we have to do a little dog and pony show and, and, and juggle cats and everything and meet with advertisers. And if we have a, a lunch meeting set up, say at PJ Clark's down the block at 1 o'clock, and we just blow it off without even calling the salesperson, we should be disciplined. I mean... What is Quincy? He, he's trying to use, for, it's, it's insulting to me that he's using the fact that his wife is a veteran as an excuse. And then it's insulting to me that he's using his tenuous situation as a player moving right. forward that it's 50-50 he might ever play again. Well, if there's a chance you might not ever play again, don't you think you shouldn't be skipping any kind of treatment that maybe that could help you play again? And, and also, Michael, and this is just me you know, making a prediction or thinking about it. If he got fined that much, this is probably not the first time it's happened. All right, so it's probably been a little bit of an issue. And I think you hit it on the nose, though. The Jets are punching bags right now. Well, of course, but that's what they do. Most of what a lot of people do on Twitter, to me, is they're trying to, to, um, to galvanate their opinion, right? They're going to want people to support them. All right, so he gets fined twenty-seven thousand dollars. Oh, I'll just go to Twitter. I'll talk about how my wife is a veteran. I got a fifty-fifty chance of ever playing again. Plus, everybody's hating on the Jets because they're an awful football team right now. And I'm just going to get a, uh, I'm going to get a bunch of mentions back about you. You tell them you're right. It's so weak to do. File a grievance with the union. Go to the Jets directly and complain about it. He really does not have a kick coming. He's embarrassing himself. And I, I think that what, what what's going on with the Jets is that Joe Douglas is a no-nonsense guy. He's a rules guy. And although the Jets look awful with the uh, assembly stuff, do we really know what happened? We just know what assembly's saying. Do we really know what happened? Now, the, the, the danger with the Jets is that other players always side with players. Always. 
Never saw it with Madison. Right. Ever. Is that going to hurt them in the future with players? I don't know. But on this one, if a player could defend what Quincy Inunua does, please call in and tell me how you defend this. My wife's a veteran. I took her out to lunch on Veterans Day to honor her. What a bunch of... Well, take her out after the take her out. Take her out to dinner. And again, I'm sure... You should thank her every day for being a veteran. And you know what? You could probably call the Jets up and say, listen, it's Veterans Day. Can I move my, uh, my treatment up or back or whatever? It, it just... Michael, I'm sure he's been a pain about it. And I'm completely 100% behind you on that.